Okay, so let's do a little exercise now. Let's use some descriptive statistics without really knowing what the fundamental methods of descriptive statistics are. Let's see if we can describe this sample of puppies. So here we have a box full of puppies. There are uh, a number of ways, or probably an infinite number of ways that we can describe what we're seeing in this picture here, especially if we can describe the puppies. So one of the things that we might want to know, for example, is how many puppies are there in this box? And in this case, you know, we would just go out and try to count how many puppies are in this box. So here we see one, two, three, four, five, six puppies. And we're going to call the number of puppies n. n is how many puppies there are in the box, so we'll let n equal 6. In very formal terms, we're going to call this the sample size. How many puppies do we have in our sample? We have 6 puppies in our sample. Now, how else can we describe these puppies? Maybe we can describe the puppies in terms of their coloring. So it seems to me that we have 3 puppies that are uh, light brown, we have two puppies that are salt and pepper, black and white. And then we've got one puppy that seems to be a mix of, of everything. A little bit of black and white, a little bit of brown. So we might be able to describe these puppies like this and say that one-third of the puppies are salt and pepper. Uh, how else can we say this? We could say that about a half of them are light brown. So half of the puppies are light brown. And we can say that one-sixth of the puppies are mixed colors. That's this guy over here. Okay, what about, what else can we describe? Some of the puppies in this box are sitting down, and some of them are standing up. So it looks to me like we've got one, two, three puppies standing up. So we can say that half the puppies are standing, and half the puppies are sitting. And we could go out and also, say, measure the weight of these puppies. And we might be able to give an average weight of the puppies. So we can calculate the weight or measure the weight of each puppy and then take the average. And we might be able to describe these puppies and say, on average, these puppies weigh 12 pounds. We might be able to measure their height and say, on average, these puppies are 15 centimeters tall. Now, these are all different ways that we can describe this sample of puppies. But let's now move to the inferential state of, uh, or the inferential branch of statistics. And remember, in inferential statistics, we are trying to use a sample to make a statement about the population. So here our sample is these six puppies. And the population might be all the puppies in the world, or all the puppies of this breed. And use common sense here. Can we use this sample of puppies to try to make a statement about all the puppies in the world of this breed? So just because uh, half of these puppies are light brown, does that give us a lot of evidence to, to guess or to make an estimate that half of all the puppies in the world are brown? Or that one-third of all the puppies in the world are salt and pepper? And I want you to think about why we can't use this sample of puppies as a good uh, foundation to make statements or make inferences about the population of, of all the puppies of this breed in the world. And I think it's quite common sense to think about this sample size. We only have six puppies here. And a really we need to really question whether or not these six puppies that we have are representative of all the puppies in the world of this breed. And there's a lot of reasons why they're not, uh, potentially not very representative. But the number one reason before knowing about 
you know, anything else about these puppies is that we're dealing with such a small sample here that it's really unlikely that this small sample is representative of the population. And in inferential statistics, we're going to try to assess when a sample gives us a trustworthy estimate of the population and when a sample's estimate really can't be used at all.